uh, or do a little bit of both. So it's really very self Two islands. Okay. Two islands, St. George and Hamilton. We're going for seven nights, and it goes on Oceana Cruises, and um, it's called Insignia. You can check it out. We're working with a travel agency who got us a really special rate. Um, I'm going to give you their number. Give them a call. Ask them all the questions, and we hope that you'll join us. Uh, their number at Keen Luxury Travel is 800-856-1155. Hmm. Mm. What's it again? 800 I'm writing it down. I bet you are. 1-800. Okay, you're slow. 1-800. I didn't say one, but 800-856-1155. You're confusing me. 1155. You got it. Or you can just go to WGNRadioTheater.com. That's our official website. And scroll down, and you will see the banner. Right. right. Click on it. And you know what I was looking at today? I was looking at our Facebook page, and I don't do Facebook. You know I, that. I know that. But I was looking at our Facebook <laughs> page, and we have like almost 4,000 Facebook friends. Right. And I think that's pretty darn good. Well, you know what? I've been working really hard at, you know, keeping up to date and posting and responding to our listeners and really keeping it as a way that you can stay in touch with us and know what's going on at the radio show. So do us a favor. Do us a real big favor, folks. If you are a Facebook uh, person, if you go on Facebook, <laughs> um, go to our Facebook page. We would really appreciate it if you'd like us. We'd like to build our likes, but I mean, we're, I mean, 3,800 people is pretty good. And it's, like but, I said, it's a really good way also to communicate with us. Yeah, I always help us um, build our Facebook. I always write back, and it's a great way to check out our schedule, any last minute changes. You can check out our fun facts, see some photos. So it's, just go to Facebook and, and uh, search WGN Radio Theater, right? Right. Yeah, and, and, uh, uh, please like us. Let's build our likes a little bit. All right. In our next hour, we're going to tune into the first half of an hour-long Lux Radio Theater presentation of Miracle of the Bells. That's going to be great. We'll, we'll listen to it in two parts because it's an hour-long show. And uh, Fred McMurray, Frank Sinatra, and Valley star in it from the movie. So don't miss it. Stick around right here on WGN. All right. 108 in the morning. And thanks for staying up late with us. We're here till 3 a.m., Playing all your favorite classic radio shows. We're on the air Saturday nights, 10 p.m. until 3 o'clock in the morning, unless the, uh, there's sports and we get preempted. And that happens once in a while. But our regular time slot, 10 p.m. till 3 o'clock in the morning, five hours. Saturday nights. And if we are preempted and starting late, we always post that on the face or I always post it on our Facebook page. So that's the best place to go and check and see what our schedule is for the weekend. All right. So in this right. hour, we're going to have the first half of an hour long Lux Radio Theater Christmas story, Miracle of the Bells, starring Fred McMurray, Frank Sinatra and Valley. From 1948, we will play that hour-long show in two parts, uh, two unter- uninterrupted parts. So That's we're right. going to have a half hour in this hour and then a half hour in our next hour. Right, and you can check out our Facebook page. And the fun fact uh, is a big poster for the movie, which had the same uh, actors as in the radio show. Yes, they did. So before that, we are going to play our game and guess that song. And we have moved on to 1962, oh. the year before you were Ooh. born. So you're safe on this one. Yeah. Um, Carl needs some help. Therefore, I might have been in the womb when this was playing. That's true. You might have heard it and not even realized it. Right. But osmosis you, okay, through the womb. The if you don't know these songs, I I will just eat my hat if I had one because these are. These are your bigger than Your floppy hat that you're going to wear on the cruise? Hat, my, my cruise floppy hat. Um, Carl definitely needs some help. So I need a caller, 312-981-7200. You will be winning a desktop indoor weather station from American Weather Makers. Those are so cool. And I'm looking for caller number three. So I need somebody, 1962, who can help Carl out. Really, I promise they're easy. Uh, give us a call. We'll be right back. Guess that song. We are going to do that. We're going to guess that song. I'm sure of it. And we have Adrian on the phone to help us out. Hi, Adrian. Hello. I'm so surprised. I was a third caller. I am so happy that it's you. And um, we're going to need a little help with 1962. Yo, Adrian. Yo, Adrian. You made it. <laughs> She's never heard that before. Yeah, I'm sure. Matt, you were the first. <laughs> well, well, they, they call me Grandma Hawk. 
Ah, <laughs> well, nice to have you on the show, Adrian. Yeah, it is. Thank you. I love listening to you guys. Thanks so much. Well, now you can listen to you on the show because yeah. you're going to be our 1962 helper, and clearly Carl's going to need a little well, assistance. I need a lot of help. Okay. <laughs> well, I was I was 12 years old, and, and I knew the last four, so I'm hoping oh, I'm going to. you're going to do it. Me. You'll get it. All right, we're going to see how you can do. I have a good feeling about this. We're going to play the first song right now. My little baby Oh, I know this one. I'm not talking the to you. Locomotion. Yeah, yeah it is the do the locomotion with Let's me. Hear it. <laughs> My little baby says I can pull it with me. It's easy and a line in your FEC. So come on, come on and do the locomotion with me. There we go. So this is little Ava. Um, but in 1974, which is the one you're thinking of, this became a number one U.S. hit for Grand Funk, who did a rock version of this song. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, Adrian. Way to go, Adrian. Okay, we've got one more to go. Pressure's on. Here we go. I'll always be true. So, love, love me, dear. There it is. Yeah, Let's hear she it. knows it. I'll always be true. Love me too. <laughs> Carl's singing a little bit like Elvis. <laughs> of course, this is the Beatles, and John Lennon and Paul McCartney wrote this song in 1958 when John was 17 and Paul was 16. Oh my God! Isn't that crazy? That's nuts. Adrian, and I saw I saw them at Comiskey Park. I wow. was on the first row of the upper deck. You couldn't hear a thing, and I kept thinking I was going to get pushed over the railing, but I was there. Oh, wow. That is a memory awesome. for sure. Wow. Oh, that is fantastic. And you know what? You were fantastic on the show. You have won the desktop indoor weather station. I have it. It is a great tool. It's, well, it's not really a tool, but it's a little tech machine brought to you by American Weathermakers Heating and Cooling, the 60 Minute Men. Visit AmericanWeathermakers.com. You will love your weather station. And thank you so much for being such a great player with us this Way morning. Way to go, Adrian. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adrian. And I love listening to you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's so nice All to right. talk to you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to you. All right. She's a big winner. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to listen to some uh, Lux Radio Theater now? I think so. That'd be great. We're going to do right. that in this hour and the next hour. All right. Lux Radio Theater, Miracle of the Bells, Fred McMurray, Frank Sinatra, Valley. Let's go back to May 31st, 1948. Here's the first half uninterrupted on the Lux Radio Theater. Lux presents Hollywood. <laughs> Lever Brothers Company, the makers of Lux Toilet Soap, bring you the Lux Radio Theater. Starring Fred McMurray, Valley, and Frank Sinatra in The Miracle of the Bells. Ladies and gentlemen, your producer, Mr. William Keeley. (laughs) Greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. It's not often that you can see the film version of a book on the screen that's still on the bestseller list throughout the country. And it's not often that we can broadcast the screenplay of a story that's still being read in thousands, if not millions, of homes. But such is our good fortune tonight with Lasky McEwen's current film production of Russell Janney's book, The Miracle of the Bells. And we bring it to you now with three great stars... Fred McMurray as Bill Dunnigan, Valley as Olga, and Frank Sinatra as Father Paul. A few moments ago, an eastbound train paused momentarily in a small Pennsylvania town. One passenger got off. While from the baggage car, a coffin was quickly unloaded and placed in an awaiting hearse. You, Mr. Dunnigan? Yes. I'm the undertaker, Mr. Dunnigan. Nick Orloff. Might as well ride with me back to Coal Town. Thank you. You, uh, you the husband of the deceased? No, I'm, I'm just a friend. Mm. Quite surprised when I got your telegram. Never had a client from Hollywood before. Uh, the name of the deceased, Mr. Dunnigan... Olga Treskovna. That was her professional name. She was an actress. But she come from Coaltown, huh? What was her real name? 
Olga Trocky. Trocky? Stan Trocky's kid? That's right. Three years ago, I gave Stan Trocky a first-class hundred-dollar funeral. You think she paid me? Not a penny, not one cent. What are you stopping here for? I ain't burying any more dead beats until they pay up. You mean now? Right now. All right, Mr. Orloff. But it was a $90 funeral, not a hundred. She paid you ten, she told me. Here, give me $20 change. Oh, no. What about the extras? Flowers and six pallbearers at two bucks apiece. I'm a respectable businessman. I never cheated nobody. When I say a hundred bucks, it's a hundred bucks. My mistake, Mr. Orloff, not noticing your fine qualities. Now get us to Coal Town. It's all right, Olga. You'll be home soon. But why anyone should want to come back to this flea-bitten end of the world, I don't know. But that's what you wanted. And it's all I can do for you, kid. Ride with you and tell you that I love you. That's what's driving me crazy. That I waited till now to tell you. I love you, Olga. I guess I loved you the first time I saw your face. I'll never forget how I happened to meet you. I'd heard Tommy Elmore was rehearsing a new review. And as long as I was in the neighborhood... No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. What are you dames trying to do to me? You, you, what's your name? Olga Triscoff. Well, look, Olga, I'm sorry, but I haven't time for beginners. Come back when you've learned something. Mr. Elmore, please... No, no, I'm sorry, but this show's got to go on in four days. Let me try again. Please give me another chance. Go on, Tommy, give the kid a break. Huh? Who's that? Bill, Bill Dunnigan. How are you, Tommy? Just thought I'd drop in and say hello. Hey, uh, can you get out of here? I'll buy you a drink. Gals, meet the world's greatest press agent. Bill, meet the world's worst chorus. Hiya, girls. Hi. Okay, ladies, take half an hour. Maybe if you've been watching them, Bill, you know I could use a drink. <laughs> hey, uh, Tommy, do me a favor, huh? Huh? Yeah, shoot, pal. Let the piano player work with that kid. He'll have her dancing like Pablo in no time. You know her? All right, just like her face. She looks like she needs the job. Come on, Tommy, give her a break. Okay. Freddie, see what you can do with Alga. I'll be back in 30 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Now, never mind the thanks. Just learn that routine. Oh, I will. I will. That's where it began, Olga. And this is where it ends. In Orloff's funeral parlor. You're back in Coal Town, baby. Now, if you'll just sit down, Mr. Dunnigan. Well, sir... We can give it a fine funeral for 150 bucks. Of course, Paul bears will be extra. Get them. Two bucks apiece. Now, about the church. First thing for me to do is fix it up with Father Spinsky. So just make yourself comfortable, Mr. Dunnigan. Be back as soon as I see you. What a sap I was, baby. Walking out of that theater with Tommy Elmore not seeing you again for a whole year. And then only by accident. That tank town in Iowa, Christmas Eve, and me wondering how to kill time till my train left. I walked down Main Street, and there was your picture in the lobby with the rest of the cast. The show was over, but I took a chance you'd still be in your dressing room. Mr. Donegan. (laughs) You've got a good memory. Oh, come in, come in. Oh, I've wanted so to see you. This is the most exciting thing that could have happened. I wanted to see you to thank you. I've never forgotten how kind you were. (laughs) Then you finally learned that dance routine, huh? I became so good in the chorus that now I'm a great dramatic actress. Oh? It's not a good play, and I don't have a good part. But I love it, and I'm so grateful to you. But what are you doing in Iowa? I'm an advanced man for a road show. Well, I I see you're ready to leave. You've got a date, huh? I just wanted to drop in and say hello. Oh, I I don't have any date, Mr. Donegan. You're not going anywhere? Just to the hotel. I suppose you're with friends. I won't keep you, Mr. Dannigan. The name is Bill, and you are going somewhere with me. Are you hungry? Yes. Wonderful. There must be some restaurant in town that's still open. Come on, let's find it. Walking with you in the snow, I felt as though I were drunk and didn't know what it was. I didn't know that I'd feel the same everywhere and every time I was with you. We finally found a Chinese restaurant. It was deserted. But old Ming Gao seemed to think we were very special customers. You shouldn't have gone to all that trouble, Minga. But how delicious everything was. Uh, After all, it is Christmas. And you say you are strangers here. Who met purely by accident. No. Uh, No accident. I believe these things are all written. And we just follow the script, huh? (laughs) Yes, we follow. Uh, Maybe you will tell me something, young lady. Uh, Your name. 
Olga Traki, alias Olga Triskovna. Traki, eh? Olga, when did you first decide to be an actress? When I was a little girl, I think. In a place called Coal Town, Little Poland. 